welcome back to Elevate Your Style. And we're here tonight for the Amari Magazine event. It's the summer sexiest issue, along with celebrating the CEO, uh, George Rojas, his birthday. And I'm so excited to have this beautiful woman sitting next to me, Christine Devine. I'm sure a lot of you have seen her on TV. I've seen you on TV. I've been there a minute. A minute, yeah, a minute. <laughs> just a minute. Well, I've followed you and I've watched you. And so I feel very blessed to have you. Um, and so I want you to tell us how you got started in TV and okay. news anchor. My parents were both educators, so they always stressed knowing what's going on in your city, your community, your okay. world. And they had lived overseas in third world countries, so they really stressed being a part of the community, caring about the community. And I, so I thought, well, I could be an educator like them, like a teacher, uh -huh. or I could be a news, because news, you're really a student of the world every yes, day. So definitely. I went with news, yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. I like that concept of what your parents, that's great. I'm like, I should teach my kids that, and they're all grown now. I like that. So I know you've won some Emmys. A few. So a few. <laughs> so tell us about that, because that's congratulations. Well, in news, it's easier for us to win Emmys than, say, for an actor, because we're on the okay. news every single day. Yeah, and I've been there are. for a long time. So yes. we just won a new Emmy, so I have 17 now. Wow, that's yeah, great. Congratulations. A couple weeks ago. That's fantastic. And as an anchor, you are blessed to get to do some of the really big specialty projects with producers. And that kind of allows for you to have these really great pieces, these long form pieces. Okay. And that's kind of get you in the Emmy door. That's great. Yeah. That's exciting to hear. So you said projects. So tell us about what projects are you working on? You know, I just do stuff off duty. I kind of um, <laughs> try to empower young people, kind of give yes. them opportunities that say I didn't have at their age. So yes. I have a little entourage and yes, in return. Tell us about that. Well, we call it Team WC. It's unofficial. Yeah. It's We Can West Coast. I love that. <laughs> and we do projects. We do fashion and music and music videos. And I have some singers in the entourage and some okay. models. And in return, they have to do give back projects. So we've gone okay. into Juvenile Hall. We've decorated apartments at a girls' crisis center. We painted wow. them. We brought in the bedspreads and the pillows. So we've done some really neat projects to give back, and that's kind of the requirement that you, you get involved. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so are you working with a certain age group? It started with a young man in foster care who was okay. adopted, which is through my Wednesday's Child segment on Fox 11, and kind okay. of branched out to others just wanting to be a part of it and support okay. and get involved and then do their own things. So it just kind of grown to a bigger and bigger entourage. That's fabulous. Yeah. I love that. It's well, a lot of fun. you got to let me know if I can help you in any way, because I produce awesome. fashion shows and I'm all about philanthropy. Well, I have a few young models, and one was one of my foster kids from Wednesday's Child, and he's been in New York Fashion Week and LA Fashion Week. and. Um, you'll have to check them out. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll have to talk. Okay. <laughs> I've got um, some designers too. Okay, that would be fun. I love that because I know my fashion shows are all about for giving back. It's all about give to oh, give. Yeah. and See, We need to hook up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and that's how the entourage kind of grows. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you support yeah. each other and the things that you're trying to do to make a difference. Yes, definitely. And mm -hmm. it's all about connections. Yeah. They all grow mm -hmm. from there. So, so I'm glad Georgie invited us. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so tell us who inspires you. Who inspires me? Uh, I love to MC community events because I okay. get to see the movers and shakers in the community okay. who are out there making a difference. And I, I feel like those are the people who inspire me because when you work in the news, you're covering a lot of bad news, yeah. a lot of terrible things. And I need to know that people are out there fighting and making a yeah. difference. And sometimes those people don't make the news and sometimes you don't hear about them exactly. very often. That's but so if you true. go to their event, you see that they are fighting for their people yes. and fighting for their communities. That's great. You are definitely following in what your parents wanted you to know and to do. <laughs> you are. That's. I think that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. A lot of us still follow in our parents' footsteps in some way, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Some way. I'm not. But <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Your mom didn't do fashion interviews? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, okay, so with that being said, there's, I know there's somebody out there watching right now who wants to be on TV, who wants to be you know, part of the news or one of those type of programs. What advice would you give them? High school age, this day and age, you can be in high school journalism. A lot of schools have their own newscasts or yeah. their school newspaper, but you want to be writing and telling stories. I mean, you can do it on your own in social media these days, but it's all about collecting stories. It's asking people the who, what, when, where, and why. It's asking about them, and everybody has a story. That's great. Yeah. That's great advice. And if you could go back to your 10-year-old self, what would you say to yourself? 10-year-old self. I'm trying to think where I was at yes. 10 years old. <laughs> I would say plan to travel more, especially while okay. you're young. That's okay. the one weakness. I'm not very well traveled. 
okay. um, just kind of hunker down at work too much and too long. Where my husband, okay. he's a musician actor and he's traveled yes. around the world. He's okay. been everywhere, so okay. our lives are so opposite that way. So you would say you would tell yourself to travel more. Okay, so you got to start traveling more. I know, it's on the to-do list, I just have to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I don't get out much. I love that. <laughs> don't get out much. I love that. Hey, I ventured down from L.A. to the O.C. I know, that's, so a that's a big pretty, deal. It was a big deal. I know that traffic, it can yep. be a little bit brutal. We did all right. So I appreciate you making the drive. Yeah. And uh, is there a website or your Instagram? How can people follow you? Yes, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Divine News, and Divine, Divine is D-E-V-I-N-E. -E. Okay. Divine News, and Facebook, Christine Divine. Great. And Fox 11, 5 and 10 p.m. Yeah, I love it. Well, thank you so much thank for you. being I here. And I, I appreciate you waiting for our interview. And yeah, yeah. Um, have fun and go celebrate with George.